you know, obviously it was evident you were trying to take Sherna and Crawford out of the game, and you know, we'll, I'll ask you about the offense, but I thought you won the game probably defensively uh, today. And uh, just talk about the job you felt like your guys, for the most part, did on Crawford and Sherna. Yeah, but we, you know, we still gave up 69 points, right. so that's probably the most that someone has scored on us, maybe all season. You're not pretty close to it, so. Um, you know, they're a very good, you know, basketball team, and they're very efficient offensively. And they kind of, and they take what, you know, you give them. And we were going to stay one-on-one -on -one with uh, Luca, and then back up off their bigs. And obviously they made some perimeter shots, and he made some things down there. But through all that, we still think at the end of the day, they got to come back through Drew Crawford and John Sherman. So that was our game plan to stay with them when the ball went in the post, to stay with them, period, and just make it difficult for them um, to play. I uh, didn't want them to get, even though they end up, you know, going eight for 17. It just kind of shows you how efficient it is. We didn't want them to shoot threes, and they still go eight for 17. And so it's just, uh, just a great system, you know, tough to defend. Um, I think we were probably a little fortunate tonight. You know, John Sherman was, was banged up. You could, you could tell from if you've been around him before, he's got a, he's got a big time motor, and it just didn't seem like it was quite there, and especially when he put him on the deck. Um, I thought our guys got into him and did a good job. He just didn't quite have that pop. Um, so, you know, I thought we did a good job. I think there's, there's, rooms, there's room for improvement there defensively um, to get better. And, and I thought Northwestern did a good job of going away um, from some things and, and being aggressive inside and being aggressive with basketball. And the, uh, on the other end, I remember last year here, uh, it's funny, Thad Mott after the game, like, from Ohio State, when Robbie hit all the threes in the first half, he kept saying, "You know, I got to get out of that one-three-one. I got to get out of it." And then he never did. Finally, he did. And Etuan seems to have good success against Northwestern's one-three-one. What what is it he does well against it? Well, um, I just think it's really not Northwestern as, as much it is, you know, Etuan, you know, as a player. You know, when he's ready to shoot and he's got his legs under him, I'm surprised when he misses. And, and today he had his legs under him. We were able to get him a couple of looks early. I think any time with a big time score shooter like you know like John Scherner or Etuan Moore, if you let him get going a little bit, there's not a whole lot you can do at times when they get some space. And um, after that, I thought they did a good job contesting his shot, and uh, you know he stepped up and made some shots. But we were able to get in a rhythm. He got some some early ones, and then it kind of snowballed from there. Ryan Smith, uh, you know, you, you look at the 13 points, but he plays 31 minutes with no turnovers and did, an, I thought, a pretty good job defensively. Uh, you know, he's starting to come a little bit for you. Well, you know, he kind of, you know, he came here and he had some, he had some limitations physically. He really worked to put himself in a good position. And now, you know, he does a good job of following the scouting report. He is solid on defense. Uh, but when you don't turn the basketball over, and you make your free throws. And uh, he, was, he still was out on the court when he was over 5 from 3. I made two huge threes to break the game open a little bit, and uh, but he still would have stayed out there if he didn't miss those two. Just because he's you know he's not turning it over, making his free throws, making the extra pass, and following the scouting report. And when you do those things, it's really going to help your team win. Matt, how impressive is it scoring 82 points against a team like Northwestern? Um, you know, I'm more upset they scored. You know, 69. I think you're a little bit greedy sometimes as a coach, but. You know, it's impressive. You know, we had some looks, I thought, tonight, um, you know, from beyond the arc that, especially in the first half, where we could have opened up the game a little bit. We had some opportunities at the basket. Um, but we, we had good balance, and it, it's very difficult. You know, you're almost holding your breath the whole time you play Northwestern um, because they change defensively. Offensively, it's such a grind. It's such a hard system um, to prepare for. Um, but I, I thought our guys did a good job. Um, it, it does take a little bit of time to adjust to them. I don't care how many times you play them. It's still an adjustment because they're there, so unique. Matt, late in the first half, uh, you guys were up three, and then Kelsey got fouled made two free throws, and you got three straight baskets from, from Jackson. Just, I mean, was there anything in that stretch that opened up some opportunities for your point guards? Well, we, we mixed up a little bit how we did things. Um, you know, we, we hold a guy sometimes in the middle just to make sure they don't trap us. And there's always a guy there for you. Um, the problem is with that, you don't have as many options when you hold a guy in the middle. And then we took the guy out of the middle, and then Lou was able to get in there. And when you get in that 1-3-1, one, one, if they stay out on shooters, you know, you're going to have a layup at the basket, or you're going to get that last you know, line of defense to help, and then somebody else is going to have a layup. 
And Lou did a good job of just being aggressive and getting in there. And we made enough shots where they stayed spread. And uh, he made the right plays.